my name is Vahid Chitsos, part of the Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you for taking this time and being with us today. Um, go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody and tell us where you're coming from. All right. First of all, it's a huge, uh, I'm very happy being here, okay? Uh, my name is Jan Spantelis. I come from Athens, Greece. Right now, I live in Manchester, UK, and basically, I'm a motivational speaker and productivity coach. And what we're doing is we help entrepreneurs who are overworked to scale their businesses by building teams without breaking the bank so that they can stop grinding and start living their lives. Isn't that, the, the, isn't that what everybody's looking for? That is awesome, man. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dive into it a little bit more, but let's, um, mm. I saw some of your videos, man. Your, uh, your videos are off the hook. You're killing it over there. So I think I got a competition. I thought I was just, you know, I was good all that, but man, you, you put me to shame. So we got to, we got to slow you down. You, listen, you need a vacation. Take the next two, three weeks off. Don't worry about nothing. Just go do what you need to do. Let us get some of those activities up to. Listen, let's dive into it. Think and grow rich. When did you start with it? Um, what's your thoughts on it? And uh, give us a little bit of an insight. So uh, I think this is one of my favorite books ever. And what's really interesting about this book is that every time I read it, it's like I'm reading a different book. I don't know why this is happening, but, you know, as we grow, as we develop, we see things in a different way. And I still remember I was like 17, 18 years old. I was back in Greece and I was in a period of my life that I really wanted to, you know, I was seeing, you know, everyone being uh, very with luxurious items and nice cars and everything. I was like, you know what? I want to be this person. I want to develop myself. I want to grow myself. I want to build myself. And someone told me, read this book. And I was like, okay, I'll give it a shot. I opened it and I immediately closed it. I never check it out again. And after three months, four months, I looked at this book being on my desk and I was like, okay, you know what? You have nothing to lose. And the moment I turned to the first page and I read the poem that is on, you know, from, I don't remember exactly. Yeah. That you are the master of your fate and the captain of your soul. It became my favorite book. Like this is a book that changed my mindset, myself, the way I behave, everything. So, okay, so let, so, all right, so tell me two things out of the book and then I'm going to ask you uh, on what are you working with and how you help entrepreneurs to get to the next level. So if you would have to pick two points out of the book that are important for everybody to know, what would we, those two things be? I would say number one is uh, for sure the burning desire. Like this is for me non-negotiable because you, 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 you shouldn't just, want to become successful you have to really be like passionate you have to be committed you have to want to go all in into something you shouldn't be like playing the game to save don't play the game to avoid losing play the game to win you have to be obsessed with your business which is quote unquote your baby and you have to really be passionate about those things so for me it's burning desire and we can also interpret it in a different way by saying having like a greater vision having something that, like a purpose with it that comes from within yourself that will push you, boost you, accelerate you to go towards where you want to go, number one. And the second thing, uh, that's a hard one to, to choose. I would say maybe, yeah, mastermind, the mastermind. Um, this played a huge role in my life as well. And having a mastermind is having like the best coach and co basically, you become the coach of your own self, kind of saying. And I see that with my mastermind group. We are three guys. We are friends from Greece. And we have a Facebook messenger group. We talk over there every single day. We motivate each other. Every time I'm struggling with something, I'm like, guys, brothers, I need help on this. What's your opinion? And I get immediate, immediate feedback. And also, I have the opportunity to give them feedback as well. And it's a game changer. Like, having someone to to talk whenever you feel down is huge because you will have as an entrepreneur all those painful moments. You are supposed to fail. You are supposed to feel the pain. You are supposed to fall down. But by having like this network of supportive individuals around you is when the magic happens. Because now you have people that do care about you and do love you being on your side. Because otherwise we live in this world and you know that yourself, like we're surrounded by people that think that entrepreneurship is weird or entrepreneurship is not something that like people that have no job do. 
But in reality, it's like, it is a journey, a beautiful journey, but there are so many struggles. And if you don't have the right people around you, it's going to be a problem. I agree with that 100%. So let's dive into it. Based on your years of experience helping other individuals um, in, in, on, in a lot of different aspects of their business, what would you say are some of the top reasons why individuals don't make it on their own in business? What mm -hmm. are some of the pitfalls? I don't want to talk about the good stuff. I want to talk yeah. about the stuff that people are not talking about. I want to yeah. the struggle, the pain. Like you just said that, you know, you got to go through failures. To me, failure is like, it's, I, I mean, just think about it. Right before you and I went live, we had the internet issue. And, and Instagram, you know, glitching out yesterday. The other day was the Wi-Fi issue. The day before that, my, my cell phone, you know, I had to reset it three times. So to me, it's like when I come and I want to do a live, I'm already set up for it. I'm like, you know what? Don't worry about it. Chances are things are going to go wrong, but it's okay. At the end of the day, we're going to make it. You're going to be good. So even with those little things, we're still going to go through challenges. So what are some of the things that you think um, entrepreneurs – have the biggest issues with? The, what are the biggest challenges and why do they fail? Mm -hmm, definitely. Uh, that's a great question. I would say that the first thing is in terms of mindset, okay? People tend to have the wrong mindset. They, they're going into entrepreneurship in order to get something. They go into entrepreneurship in order to buy the fancy car, in order to have the expensive watch, in order to show to, them, to their friends that, look, I make money. But this is a wrong mindset to come from you're not going to become a successful entrepreneur if you're, not, if you're thinking only in terms of money. Of course, you have to go your business towards you know, earning an income because that's how you're going to make the business grow. But on the other side, you have to have in mind that imp more important is to actually make an impact. Entrepreneurship is about making an impact, not only earning money. So first thing will be that. Another one is that they think that they can do everything on their own. And... This is, you know, they, 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 we call them, uh, you know, solopreneurs. But you are, first of all, it's not that funny, like having us having a team around you. But also, in that case, you are wearing all the hats. You are the CEO. You are the founder. You are the marketer. You are the social media, the social media manager. You are the salesperson. You are the customer support. And at the end of the day, you lose, you know, the identity of who you are, what you represent, and what your business wants to create. So if you're wearing all the hats, and you're working in the business instead of working on the business, you are going blindlessly towards somewhere. Whereas if you have a team of effective individuals being surrounded, surrounding you and helping you, you are able to, you know, see the bigger picture and focus on the things that do matter. That's the second thing. Another one, a huge one as well, is failure that we mentioned before. For me, failure, first of all, I think it's a gift in disguise. Like, I love getting rejected and failing, but most of the people are afraid to take action just because they might fail. Oh, what if this, you know, Instagram live won't work? What if I, I don't perform as I should? What if I don't make enough money to sustain myself? What if this go wrong? What if this goes bad? Yeah, but you are supposed to fail at the end of the day. So if you change, if you shift your mindset from, oh, I need to get away from failure to, oh, I need to chase failure because failure is my best friend. And from failure, through failure, I'm going to learn, I'm going to improve myself, and I'm going to grow. I love that because this is like, you learn so many things. Failure it was, is, and will always be your best friend. I think this will be the top three things out of my head right now. So, okay, so you said something very, very uh, interesting. You love failing. Are you crazy? Are you like, you have a mental issue? Like what, <laughs> do you, that is exactly what other people think. They're like, how could you love failing? Like, that's not good. You got punched in the face. You lost some money, potentially file for bankruptcy. You are losing something, right? So explain, let's dive into that. What do you mean I love failure? Yeah, so um, I, I, I believe that failure, so if, if I see myself from when I was a little kid, I realized that through the hard times was when I became stronger. So backstory about me, I used to be a bullying victim as well. People used to mock me. People used to call me names. People used to throw me inside dumpsters. And through that process is what made me to want to change the world right now with what I do. Because I got, you know, I, I, I took a decision. I told myself, Yanis, you have to help people that are today 
like how you used to be, you have to have them change. And this is what drives me. Because I've been through failure. I've been through the struggles. I've been through the pain. And I know that it's very painful. I understand that. But I also realized that this was, let's say, a, that, that was like a power from within myself that told me that, gave me a wake-up call and told me, you only live once. You are going to die no matter what. So should you be worrying about failing because it's either way part of the process or should you just embrace failure, take a lesson from it, move on and grow having this as your best friend? This is kind of my mindset, if it makes sense. It does make sense. So when you go through failure right now, typically, how many minutes does it take for you to reset your mindset and not let that affect you. And the reason why I ask this question is for many, many individuals, when they go through challenges and difficulties and hardship, failure, temporary defeat, whatever, that, that whatever the case might be, that is not positive. Yeah. I believe that that delay makes a big difference between the, 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 the successful ones and the ones that don't make it. What is that delay for you right now at this moment? I haven't really thought about it. In general, I, I tend to see everything very positively because my, my first, like the instinct move, it's not, oh, I failed, what I'm going to do is, okay, this happened, okay, how can I change it? How can I save my business because this happened? I'm first going to think in terms of solution and secondly, in terms of the problem. I agree with that 100%. So it doesn't affect you. Were you always like that? 100% not. <laughs> How long did no. it take you to build this mindset that's like solid, locked in, I'm going to go through failures till I succeed. And there's no, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to dwell on it. I'm not going to think about it. I'm not going to get down on it. I wouldn't say that it's most, it's not in terms of how much time it took me. It's most in terms of how much failures did I experience in order to come here. Because when you go through all those painful moments that we're supposed to go through, is when you learn that, okay, you know what? I'm still alive. They're like, okay, this happened. I failed. It's okay. I can move on. I'm still alive. Then another thing also that's very important is the fact of gratitude. Because, yeah, I can focus on all the things that I don't have. But what if I focus on the things that I do have? Okay, maybe I have a struggle here, but I'm also healthy. I have no physical, I have no problem, medical problem. My family is alive. My friends are here for me. My partner is here for me. I'm still able to live, to walk, to breathe, to see, to watch, to experience life. Why should we focus on all the negative and not on the beautiful things that we already have in our lives? I agree with that 100%. Now, what is your, I know this is your favorite book and you don't recommend any other book to anybody else on any topic. This is it. But if you had to pick one other book, what, 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 what would it be? Read this man in Babylon. That's a good one. That's yeah. A, that's a good one. So let's, say, let's do this. How, how good is your Greek? Very good. <laughs> let's do this. Let's do this. We do this once in a while, so we're not going to make a habit of this doing it all the time. But I want you to take maybe like one minute. I want you to summarize what we just said in Greek, and we're going to listen. And I'm going to nod my head like I understand what you're saying. You can say whatever you want to say. This is for our Greek individuals that are following our page. We'll make sure they get to see this. David, Why Mahan. should I read this book if, if I'm Greek? Why should I read this book? So, uh, άμα είσαι Έλληνα και θε να γίνει καλύτερο στη, στη δουλειά σου, καλύτερο στη ζωή σου και θε να μάθει πώ οι καλύτεροι άνθρωποι και πόσε εκατομμυρίουχοι ανάμεσά μα στον κόσμο έχουν καταφέρει να γίνουν αυτοί που είναι σήμερα, πρέπει να διαβάσει αυτό το βιβλίο. Λοιπόν, σε αυτό το βιβλίο θα μάθει πράγματα για το πώ να σκέφτεσαι, πώ να σκέφτεσαι διαφορετικά, πώ να μεγαλώσει και να πα εκεί πέρα που σου αξίζει να είσαι νούμερο ένα. Μετά θα μάθει πώ να περιτριγυρίσει τον εαυτό σου με ανθρώπου που θα σε βοηθήσουν να γίνει. Πραγματικά η version του εαυτού που αξίζει να είσαι, θα μάθει για το mindset, το σωστό, πώ να σκέφτεσαι, πώ να προ, προχωρά. Και το πιο σημαντικό είναι ότι είναι ένα πολύ μικρό βιβλίο, εύκολο να το διαβάσει, καταπληκτικά όμορφο και σου δίνει και ωραία παραδείγματα. Θα σου μιλήσει για τον Thomas Edison, θα μάθει για τα πράγματα που κάνανε successful άνθρωποι για να γίνουν καλύτεροι στη ζωή του. Οπότε, χωρί δεύτερη σκέψη, το κάνω, recommend αυτό το βιβλίο, δέστο και επιστρέφω στα αγγλικά αυτή τη στιγμή για να μα καταλαβαίνουν και όλοι οι υπόλοιποι. So, yeah. <laughs> You're the man. You said that so fast, man. I give you one minute. It's all right. Listen, 
Thank you so much for taking this time to be with us. Hopefully you and I will get to do this more often because I love your content and what you're doing and you're helping a lot of different individuals and that's our mission also too. We want to make sure we got a platform where, you know, at least there's a support system where individuals when they go through the challenges, they have a place they can go to. But that is not a substitute of what you can get on your own. So if it's yeah. going to happen, it's going to be because of you. It's not because of other things. But other things could definitely help you on your way to success journey. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you taking this time. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Take care, brother. Bye-bye.